Phil Cohen here, Cohen on content and all things digital. I got Jason Sosa from Immersive Labs. Jason, you've got this facial recognition. I've seen a few others. Yeah. All right, tell me about your thing, and then I'm going to ask you some questions. Sure, sure. What we're doing that's different is we're gathering information on what's going on in context to a space. The weather, the time of day, the day of the week, in addition to all the information we're gathering from. you got to slow down. Reading. I don't. You're, you're, you're <laughs> gathering information in context with a location. So it's di the traffic patterns are different than an airport than they would be in a mall or a retail store. So you get the facial recognition. Yes. But you're also tracking what the weather is and what time it is. And there's a there's a concept of random rotation or playlists. We're completely changing that paradigm. So what we're doing is we're gathering all this information, including using a face recognition system. But we're using machine learning or artificial intelligence to match that with the playlist dynamically. So we know you have 10 spots, right? We know what the, the information is associated with these spots. And we know what's going on in the environment. And we match the spot to be shown to the right person at the right time as the mantra goes, but with the highest probability that they'll look at it. And it's all okay. automatic, so it's an automatic scheduling software. So this is one more step toward grabbing that engagement factor. Exactly. Uh, how'd you get into this? I mean, obviously, we didn't go to school together. Uh, how'd you get into this? Uh, a few years ago, I started a, a media research software company. Back up, how'd you even think about media research software company? I was, uh, I taught myself how to do programming, and I went out and uh, built a, a software that I sold to radio stations on showing them uh, demographics on who wanted to see what type of song or who wanted to hear what type of music on the radio. I sold that business, uh, was accepted into a program called Techstars New York, and uh, we're here in New York, and uh, we raised a round of funding, um, and we're off doing this now. So it's, I have a background doing some computer vision work as well, so it's... And you're a person, right? You're not like a hologram. These guys scare me with this stuff he's talking about here, all right? Uh, all right, now listen. I, in my networks, I can't have it. Um, because the doctors are just totally diametrically opposed to anything they consider to be even resembling a camera mm -hmm. in their offices. And even though I'm in there saying, well, we wouldn't capture anything, we wouldn't hold anything, it's just data collection, it's no go. So for me, I can't use it. So that's why I'm not, he's not pitching me. But who really is this for? Is this really for the advertiser? Or is this really for the content provider or the network operator? And for why? What, what are they going to do with it? Definitely. So for the network operator, there's a few different things, right? A bunch of their, their expenses actually toward operations, not necessarily toward hardware and software. So we can save them a ton of time by automating their playlist schedule. Right? Uh, for an ad agency, if they have four pieces of content, let's say it's Coke and they want to know uh, based on content A, B, C, or D, which one will perform better, we can actually help them know that and target that to the specific audience. We give them like a, a Google Analytics for the real world. Who so do you the, pitch? Do you pitch the ad agency? Do you pitch the brand? Are you pitching the network operator? We pitch, we're pitching everybody right now. We're a startup, so we're kind of in this space where we're getting to know everybody. We're introducing ourselves to a ton of people. Uh, we're talking to the, the media buyers, we're talking to the advertisers and the, uh, the network operators. We actually, we're rolling out with RMG Networks uh, in San Francisco, New York, and LA uh, this, this fall. Okay, this looks really good. I'm, not, I'm still not sure who the buyer is. I mean, if I was your boss, and I needed to tell you, here's how who you got to go pitch to make the most effective use of your time and energy and assets. I wouldn't know where the hell to send no, you. We're working with the network operators. That's, that's okay. really where it's at. You got a website? Absolutely. It's www.immersivelabs.com. And all of this data is on there, or is it just a commercial? No, no. We do uh, the back end stuff. All the data is available. If you want to do a pilot with us, all that stuff's available. We can do that. But, but it's. If one of my 1,641 closest friends went to your website, would they get an understanding of what your software does? Definitely. So that they a, could think about how it could apply to them. Definitely. There's a video you can go on there. You can check it out. It shows some of the data we collect. It gives you a high-level overview of the technology and uh, what we're up to. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's, th let's take a look because some of this stuff moves so fast that uh, you know it's hard to keep up from one week to the next. That's why this whole... Website thing's a good idea. Hey. All right, what is, tell them again. It's immersivelabs.com. I-M-M-E-R-S-I-V-E-L-A-B-S.com. I was going to say that. 
Thanks. I'll see you. You'll see me next time. Thanks a lot. Right, man. Thanks. I enjoyed that.